Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumay Vishash and I welcome you all in my channel Kanmakim. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request everyone, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now, what is the major product of these reactions? By the way, this is actually a secondary amide. It's amine, but I'll more specifically say it's amide. Reacted with this chloroacetyl chloride. In presence of anhydrous, A-N-H-Y dot means it's anhydrous AlCl3. What is the product? By the way, from this all option, it looks like it is nothing but aromatic electrophilic substitution. Now, you may have a question, sir, secondary amine or amide, you have kept AlCl3. So, isn't there any tertiary amine formation? That is not possible here. Why? Look at all the options. This, this, all case, this NH is actually free. Now you may have doubts, sir. Why isn't it possible? Remember, student, this secondary amide is not that much electron rich. Why? Because this nitrogen lone pair is delocalized one with this carbonyl group, another with this benzene ring. So electron density is very less. Second thing, it is significantly bulky. So this reaction has lots of problem rather than up alternate option is available that is aromatic electrophilic substitution i mean substitution of proton from this benzene nucleus so these option possible so that's why that takes place so do not get confused second thing this alcl3 if you look at it is actually a covalent molecule so from there you can understand one aluminium attached to three chlorine with three covalent bond each covalent bond has two electrons so total these aluminiums outermost shell has six electrons so you can say it's an incomplete octet or technically if i say it is a sextet since it is incomplete octet so it can have electron density means it can act as a lewis acid it can take electron density from someone and result in adduct formation now chloride can donate its lone pair by the way i'm not specifying which chloride just imagine any chloride because each of the chloride has say has six electron i mean three lone pair outside of this so they will attack and form a adduct adduct means in this case this chloride will donate its electron by the way two lone pairs still intact it will give in to this alcl3 now chlorine neutral atom gave its electron density to aluminium that is also neutral aluminium will have a negative charge since it gained chlorine will have a positive charge because it has donated now just imagine chlorine Electronegative atom carrying a positive charge is not that much stable. So these RCL, this bond can break, resulted in R plus plus AlCl4 minus. So this is R plus is actually student electrophile. Now this question has two part. One, where this position number one or two from where the electrophile will be generated and aromatic electrophilic substitution will take place at which position ortho meta or para now one thing i can say this nitrogen is an electron donating this lone pair so that's why aromatic electrophilic substitution will preferentially takes place on either ortho or para agree but but if you look at these amide molecule so there are two hydrogen at the ortho position and one in the para position. Now this is a big group student and this CN, actually CN rotation is allowed because it's a single bond. So that's why here both of these hydrogen, this one and this one, they will affect the bulk effect of or steric effect because of this CH3CO. Agree? So that's why you can say accessibility at this position is less for the electrophile so aromatic electrophilic substitution will take place only at the para position this much is fixed now second point from where the electrophile will generate let's try from both side so if i generate the electrophile at position number one then it will be this one this is plus charge this is cl now if you generate the electrophile at position number two then it will look like this now stability of the produced electrophile will decide where the reaction will take place now if you look at here it can have another kind of stability by the way this carbon center is sp2 hybridized and this oxygen has two lone pair and one of them could be donated resulting in so this is cl this is carbon it can 
form a triple bond and oxygen can carry a formal positive charge agree but if you look at here no such kind of stability possible now you may think sir is it really stable oxygen donating electron density and getting a formal positive charge is it really stable yes it is stable now if you look at this carbon atom here it is attached to this oxygen with a double bond so you can say sir four electron attached with one carbon with a single one so total two electrons so this carbon sent this carbon atom is having six electrons so incomplete octet now if you look at this canonical form so three bonds so six electron here two electron here so here this carbon is carrying eight electron means octet field so in resonance if octet field structure is obtained by some case so that is more stable although oxygen is carrying positive charge what message i want to give now oxygen carrying positive charge it will create some amount of unstabilization i agree but octet fill up will create some amount of extra stabilization so overall this canonical form will result stabilization so these has a chance this canonical form has a good chance now if you look at here this positive charge it is actually next to this cocl by the way, if you look at oxygen electronegative atom so it will pull electron density carbon will be delta plus even this chlorine will also pull its electron density through sigma bond because of minus i effect stronger then the further electron deficiency so you can say this carbon is actually very electron deficient so since it is very electron deficient can it donate some amount of electron density to this positive charge answer is no so this positive charge means this carbon carrying six electron it is very electron deficient so if it is very electron deficient then technically you can say it is very less stable so it, these intermediate will not be produced because it is very less stable and this is comparatively more stable by the way intermediates have some unstability but this is comparatively more stable so comparatively stabilization is obtained here so these will be the intermediate so if it reacts acylium cation such with chloroacylium cation at para position reaction will takes place and what it will result so NHCO CH3 and in para position first aromatic electrolytic substitution will happen this proton will be the here this electrophile will attach later on release of this proton will take place and aromaticity will gain and we will get finally this product now I will say sir you are skipping the mechanism no I am not skipping I do not want to make the video lengthy if you want to know the mechanism further I suggest you I will provide a link please visit that video I have already discussed the mechanism for aromatic electrolytic substitution in details now this much so what is the product obviously para with respect to this and the acyl group this sp2 carbon will be attached to benzene ring so this is the answer now if this question appear in your exam less than 30 seconds how can you solve it for that purpose you need to remember few points first of all these bond will be broken easily because the produced carbocation has one resonance stability so first it, is, it will produce the electrophile second point this NHCOCH3 is actually an activating group ortho para orienting but ortho position faces steric bar effect because of this big group so only electrophilic substitution takes place in the para position student you can remember if you give mixed acid means concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid then nitration takes place para position if you take halogen i mean bromine in acetic acid then bromination takes place in para position obviously in next step you can do hydrolysis break this bond and you can get para bromoaniline para nitroaniline selectively so remember that concept it is utilized in many places so here another application that is a acylation reaction took place obviously at the para position where the sp2 carbon got attached to this para carbon atom so this is the overall discussion. I believe this video may be useful. Thanks for watching. And if you really enjoy this content, please help this channel to grow. And if you have any doubt regarding the logo of my channel, please read this part. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye.